Hi, I'm Ken of Wrist Innovations, and I scoured the YouTube universe as well as 3D printing websites such as Printables and Maker World for the most popular recommended 3D printed desk accessories. And I have chosen the top 10 3D printed desk accessories that are going to make your day. I spent hours reviewing 3D printed desk accessories recommendations before making my final selection. Some of the 3D printed desk accessories are very simple and took me only like 30 minutes to print, while others took many hours of 3D printing multiple parts and then more hours assembling the parts. In some cases, I created my own designs because I couldn't find anything that fit my needs. So you don't want to miss my designs because you won't see them anywhere else. I can't wait to show you at the end of the video how I implemented a number of these upgrades to my own desktop, which really transformed my work area. I think you're going to want to 3D print every one of these desk accessories for your desk. So let's get started. The following list is not in any particular order of importance or complexity. So you're going to want to see all the 3D printed desk accessories to see which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Links for many of the 3D printed desk accessories are found in the description below. Number one, computer monitor stand. I wanted to replace one of my computer monitor stands because based on the current design of the legs, I had to have the stand positioned so that it wouldn't fall off the desk. So it took up a lot of space on my desk. Because I'm left-handed, the monitor was in the way for me to set a pad of paper on my desk to write notes. There are some 3D printed computer monitor stands available. Most of them slide a piece of wood into them, so I was limited to the size of the wood. For these reasons, I designed my own computer monitor stand. I designed it so that the legs could be 3D printed flat. I used number 8 wood screws to attach them to a custom piece of cherry veneer plywood. I cut the plywood to size and then I applied cherry veneer edge banding to cover the plywood edges. I sanded the pieces and then I applied several coats of white bond gloss polyurethane. I used PLA and it took about 6 hours and 22 minutes to print each leg. The 1 inch diameter holes were a bit too small to get my right angle screwdriver in to tighten the wood screws, so I upgraded my design to make larger holes. If you're interested in printing my design, I placed my design on printables and the link is in the description below. The next thing I wanted to do is to take advantage of the space under the monitor stand for storage. So I found this next thing on printables. If you are working on a prototype project and you need some help, I have the answer for you. This brings me to the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. If you are working on any prototype projects, they can help you when you need a variety of parts. Besides making PCBs, they also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and lots of different types of 3D printing, including metal printing. You just need to go on their website, upload your design, select the material and quantity you need, and you'll get an instant quote. Next, their engineering team will review and approve the quote and as soon as PCBWay receives payment, they will manufacture the parts and ship them right to your door. Give them a try. I think you'll be amazed at what they can do for you. Check out PCBWay using the link below. Number two, monitor stand drawers. I found these fantastic under the desk drawers designs by Gerari on printables. You can't talk about 3D printed drawer organization without including Zach Friedman's Gridfinity system. Gerari took Zach's Gridfinity storage system and created the Gen 2 Gridfinity drawers for under the desk applications. In my opinion, this is the best of both worlds. By combining Gerari's under the desk modular desk system with Zach's Gridfinity bin storage system, you have a thing of beauty. I printed a total of six drawers along with the needed rails to mount the drawers to the underside of my computer monitor stand. Then I printed a variety of sizes of Zach's Gridfinity bins in the 12mm and 40mm heights. Because I printed six drawers instead of my original plans to print four drawers, the overall height of the drawer assembly was a bit too high compared to the height of my monitor stand. So I printed two quarter inch thick spacers and glued them to the bottom of my monitor stand legs, which gave me the clearance I needed. I used PLA and it took me about 80 hours to print everything. 
I'm happy with the results combining my computer monitor stand with Gerari's under the desk drawers and Zach's Gridfinity system. Now I have lots of storage for my various desk supplies within easy reach. Almost 4,000 downloads have been made from Gerari's design. Gerari's and Zach's links are in the description below. Number three, charger cable organizers. These simple but clever cable holders work great for organizing your various charger cables. These are designed by DFV Tech and they are on printables. You just load your cable on the top stem and then click the cover on top. Then it's a matter of winding the cord into the holder. They come in three sizes and there have been over 36,000 downloads of this design. It only takes about 66 minutes to print one of the holders. Link in the description. Number four, business card holder. There are many 3D printed business card holders out there, but this is one of the most popular. This is a remix by Chris Aero Engineering on printables. He mentioned the original design is by Tita Fubaki on printables. I like how the 45 degrees holder is different than the majority of business card holders. It took one and a half hours to print. Between the original design and Chris's remix, over 12,000 downloads have been made. Link in the description. Number five, tiltable phone holder. This unique tiltable phone holder is designed by E. Soderberg on printables. The geared knob allows you to tilt the phone from almost 90 degrees vertical to horizontal. The holder is designed to hold your phone in the vertical or horizontal position and there's a clearance in the vertical position that allows you to charge your phone using your charger cord. The part prints in place and it takes about four and a half hours to print. This design definitely stands out compared to so many other phone holders out there. In fact, there have been over 32,000 downloads of this design. Link in the description. Number six, desktop organizer. In addition to my computer monitor stand storage, I wanted to have a open desktop organizer for my pens, thumb drives, SD cards, erasers, post-it notes, etc. So I found this cool design by Ethan Thompson on printables. Ethan designed his modules to be compatible with Zach Friedman's Gridfinity system base plates. I printed out Ethan's modules and then I followed Zach's Gridfinity base plates link on Thangs. I specifically chose the weighted plate link because Zach designed this for desktops so that his bin modules would be secured. Zach's link allows you to open the file in Fusion 360, so this allowed me to custom size the base plate to a 4x4 configuration, so that would fit on my printer. I printed two of the 4x4 grids and they hold Ethan's desktops perfectly. It took me about 30.6 hours to print all the parts. There are over 8,000 downloads from Ethan's designs. Links are in the description. Number seven, phone holder. I have another popular phone holder for you. This simple but effective design is by Zenoy 52701 on printables. It's a nice compact beefy design that is elevated so it allows you to hold your phone vertically and connect your charger cord and have clearance. It's printed on its side and it took about two and a half hours to print. And there have been over 29,000 downloads of this design. Link in the description. Number eight, MagSafe phone holder. Desk edge. If you are looking for a way to mount your MagSafe phone holder so that it doesn't take up space on your desk, this next design by Thomas D. on Printables is for you. Thomas's design allows you to mount the MagSafe phone holder on the edge of a desktop or shelf that's approximately 19 millimeters thick or three quarters of an inch. It prints in two parts, the main piece and the thumb screw. This design nicely elevates your phone above your desktop, freeing up space on your desk. It took about one and three quarters hours to print, and there have been over 2,500 downloads of this design. Link in the description. Number nine, MagSafe phone holder. Yet another style of MagSafe phone holder, this design is also by Thomas D. on printables. I like how the design almost appears to have the phone suspended in the air because of the simple singular post. I did it in one piece and it took about two and a quarter hours to print. And there have been over 10,000 downloads of this design. Link in the description. Number 10, cable tray. 
I searched for quite a while for a simple cable tray that would easily be mountable to my custom granite top office desk, but I couldn't find anything, so I designed this solution. I designed these clamps to mount to the lip of the granite by adding a threaded insert and a set screw. I designed the cable tray to be held to the clamps using a dovetail design. I printed multiple sets and mounted them to the front of my desk, and I think they turned out great. The black PLA complements the cherry desk, and it really improves my cable management, especially since the desk faces the middle of the room so it's easily seen. It took me about 31 and a half hours to print a quantity of six of the nine inch long cable trays and the 12 brackets. Number 11 as a bonus, MagSafe 3-in-1 phone holder. As an added bonus, I have one last phone holder for you. This is a 3-in-1 design by Joe Mike Taranella on printables, and his design includes a MagSafe charger for an iPhone, an Apple Watch charger, and an AirPod charger. It is a very nice compact design that holds all three things with a very small footprint. The charger cords route through the various slots built into the design. This design didn't allow my AirPod charger cable to fit into the hole, so I modified the design to fit my cable. It's printed in one piece and it took about three and a half hours to print. There have been over a thousand downloads of this design. Now it's time for my final reveal of my improvements to my desktop. Here is the before video, and here is the after video. I am really happy with my upgrades. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. Do you have some favorite 3D printed desktop accessories that I didn't mention? Let me know that too. If you'd like to see my video on the top 10 3D printed tools you should make, that link is here. Thanks for watching. Bye.